Welcome back. We are here looking at the ETFs, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, May 11, 2021. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new studios, and we'll start by looking at the ARK Innovation ETF. And as you can see, this just fell off a cliff today. So we're down to 5.74% at this current stage, significantly overstretched there, but we have a, a been that for a very long time now and it doesn't seem like the market really cares we are heading towards the 300 moving average at the 95 at this current stage we are always sold other technical indicators are looking dreadful and uh, this ETF has been absolutely hammered in 2021 it's supposed to be one of the best performing ETFs of uh, 2020 and uh, this year it has lost 35 uh, percent of its value yes 35%. So we're approaching the 300 moving average. And um, yes, it has been absolutely dreadful. Most of the stocks that are in this uh, ETFs have also suffered significantly today since Tesla was down, I think, about more than 6%, uh, give or take. So at this point, rallies up towards the 200 moving average. As we saw earlier, will most likely be sold into. And the next major support level will probably be the, all the way down here at 95, at the 300 moving average. So let's look at DVI. So DVI did rally up towards uh, to 124, which was significantly outside of the Bollinger Band here. And we created this, uh, well, basically a shooting star and that usually means that we'll drop back towards support. We should be the 20 exponential moving average in the middle of the bullish band, so drop a 3.67% to the downside. Technical indicators for this uh, ETF are very bullish, but we're significantly overbought, significantly overstretched, and a pullback at this point is highly expected before going higher. We are in uptrend, and pullbacks are just a, a part of the game. So let's look at VTI. So VTI did rally up towards this uh, this uh, top of the bullish band and then just completely collapsed. So we found support at the 20 exponential. Um, we did break the middle of the bullish band. That could mean that we will drop towards the bottom. And that's another drop of 1.12% to the downside. Technically, units are fairly mixed. MACD is bearish. That's RSI is bearish. That CCI is flat. And that stochastic is still bullish. So... At this point, if the 20 exponential basically breaks, we could drop down to the 20 exponential that is down here at the 213 and then the 50 moving average right here. If you should go completely wrong here, then we have the 100 moving average all the way down at 205. And that's a drop from where we are at the moment of give or take 5.3%. To the upside, we'll most likely find major resistance at the 220, give or take. So let's look at MCHI. So Chinese stocks have been hammered, and yes, this just um, it's just more of the same. It's just getting absolutely slaughtered out there. So we did run into resistance at the 50 moving average, dropped all the way down to 78 at this current stage. Just have a look at how far we're outside of the bullish band here. This it just screams that we are going to rally back towards the middle. However, this there's no VIX here, so this is just a completely full body. And usually that is a very, very bearish shine that this just will continue to the downside. We are not oversold yet. Staying at technical indicators otherwise are very bearish. So this could very well just continue all the way down to the 300 moving average. And that's another drop of 4.7% to the downside. So let's look at uh, IVV. So IVV has also pulled back if this was completely expected. So we were way outside of the bullish band here and we have dropped give or take 4.12% today and we could drop uh, additional uh, additional 0.13% uh, uh, before we get to the middle of the bullish band, drop below there we could head to the bottom and that's another drop of 1.6% to the downside. We haven't actually tested that since um, all the way back here and this is uh, this is basically the end of March. So we have been bouncing off the 20, but the pullbacks towards the 40 and the 50 have also been common. Also here, we did drop way below the 50 moving average, all the way down nearly to the 100 moving average. So a pullback was always expected here because we got very overstretched here in the bullish band. But we are very much in an uptrend and the pullbacks are based just buying opportunities in this case. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And good luck and thank you very much.